This is it guys, the Samsung Galaxy S8 is almost here. Before you know it, in two months you'll be running your fingers down the gentle slopes of its display, gently caressing it as you tell it nice things. This phone is going to be the most beautiful and sexy phone of the year in my opinion. I mean, we haven't even seen the iPhone yet, but I'm so beyond impressed with the design of this phone, which has leaked extensively in the last few days and even weeks. So in this video, I wanted to give you an idea of what to expect from the Galaxy S8 in terms of design and features, because at this point in time, we are so close to release that we know almost everything there is to know about this phone. Now, we actually put together all of these leaks and rumors into one concept, and we've been closely following this concept, making little updates here and there. Since my last one, we definitely have made improvements, and wow, what a stunner of a phone. So I just wanna say, if this is really what it's going to look like, which right now, this is looking to be about 85 to 90% final design, this is going to be a stunner. There's no doubt in my mind that this phone will be simply incredible. So let's get into all of the details, rumors, and leaks. And believe it or not, the official logo, the promo image for the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus has leaked. It's very in line with past Samsung releases advertisements for the S6, S7. It looks just like the real thing. Now what it suggests or what it confirms is the naming scheme for the new Galaxy phone. So we're going to be seeing an S8 and an S8 Plus. There will be no edge version or flat version naming scheme. So it'll just be the S8 and S8 Plus, eliminating the possibility of a flat display that may come in a separate, you know, special edition Galaxy, but the S8 and S8 Plus standard models will both have the curved edge displays. And just a little refresher of what's going on with the lineup. So the smaller S8 model will come in 5.8 inches. In my last video, I said 5.7, but EV Leaks has clarified that it will be 5.8 and you won't get a flat choice model. So they'll both be curved edge displays and the display will remain at QHD resolution. So it's not going up to 4K as I did say in the last video, it's going to stay, but it will receive other improvements to the display, such as the DCI P3 color gamut, more colors on the display, and a restructuring of the pixels for a sharper, brighter display. And a more recent rumor suggests that there will only be two storage sizes, 64 and 128 gigabytes. So 64 will be the default, and then you can go up to 128. Of course, you can expand the memory beyond that. I just think it's an oversight. It should be at least 256 to match the iPhone, but the rumor suggests it'll only go up to 128. Now, depending on which model you get, you'll get four with the standard S8, a gigabytes of RAM or six with the S8 Plus to help run that larger display. Now, a more recent design leak I'll share with you coming from OnLeaks on Twitter suggests three things. For one, the display will actually have rounded corners on that Super AMOLED display, which is amazing. It's such a beautiful design thing. Uh, I saw it first on the Mi Mix, now the LG G6 is going to be doing it. And yes, a sigh of relief, the Galaxy will have it as well. It'll make the display look beautiful. Also, there will be less bezels on the top and bottom, suggesting that the 18-9 aspect ratio is here to stay. Going from 16-9, it'll go up to 18-9. Now, a question that arises with that is, how is your content going to look, videos? And it's a pretty simple solution. So the video won't stretch out to those rounded corners as it'll cut off the media. It'll just stop cropped. The Mi Mix basically handles this problem by not allowing the video to extend to the curved corners as it'll crop your video. And the actual CAD models have also been leaked from on leaks and they suggest several things. So for one, the thickness of the phone will actually be increasing by 0.1 millimeters. So it'll go to eight millimeters from 7.9 of the Note 7 and S7. And I'm actually very excited about this one. One of my biggest pet peeves with smartphones is protruding lenses and the Galaxy S8 is going to shrink that. So going from one millimeter sticking out on the S7, uh, it'll go down to 0.2. And that is actually amazing. So a great reduction there in the camera protrusion. And the last thing this model confirms is that the iris scanner is indeed going to be happening. So there is a separate camera, you know, aside from the selfie one, which is going to be eight megapixels. This is the same one coming from the Note 7 used for iris scanning. Now, Sam Mobile is reporting it will be a faster version of it. And this is actually closely related to the fingerprint sensor situation. Because Samsung is moving the fingerprint sensor from the front of the phone to the back, and yes, 
We never talked about this. It actually is going to happen. Uh, they want to replace the fingerprint sensor, which was the easiest solution for unlocking your phone, you know, while having security with iris scanning. But iris scanning, you know, on the Note 7 still had some issues for some people, and now they're making it even better, more reliable, and faster, according to Sam Mobile. So the fingerprint sensor will not be built into the display as earlier suggested, because they just simply didn't have the technology when developing this phone. So they're just going to be putting it on the back next to the camera and all of these leaks are suggesting that that indeed is going to be the case. So it's switching spots with the flash unit on the back of the phone and that's going to be a fingerprint sensor now. Not the most comfortable solution but with iris scanning it shouldn't be an issue. And the last thing this model does suggest is that the power button will not be placed underneath the volume buttons which is an interesting change but it's not at all uncomfortable. Also the Samsung logo which a lot of people feared would be put on the bottom of the phone where the home button was will no longer be there. So that'll just be one on the back. In most of these models, we're not seeing the Samsung logo here. I hope they don't have one as you know the models suggest. And another model leaked from Gear India actually shows a model very similar to the one I just showed you. However, one key difference, it doesn't have a stereo speaker on the top. So suggesting that that might not be a feature coming to the S8, but it also doesn't have the SIM tray or the memory card tray so could it be that that's a questionable rumor? Probably, I hope that's not the case. Stereo speakers, as previously rumored for the S8 would be amazing. And an actual in the flesh prototype leak of the Samsung Galaxy S8 by Venture Beat. This is one of the most real looking leaks and it follows closely all of the model leaks. So it's got the fingerprint sensor, right next to the camera. It's got that curved edge display on both sides and the actual speakers match up very closely to the designs, USB-C and the headphone jack. So this is the real deal right here and that's what it's going to look like, basically. And if you're still not convinced that the Galaxy S8 is going to look like this, there are a ton of case leaks everywhere throughout the internet. A lot of uh, manufacturers have started selling these cases two months prior to the release, who knows why. Uh, and also the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus actual support page is live online for whatever reason. Samsung is jumping the gun on that one in case some people get the phone early and they need help with it. Release date and price. So the Samsung Unpacked event is rumored to happen on March 29th. That's almost a full month after the Galaxy S7 release. Now they're taking their time. They don't want the whole Note 7 thing to happen again. So a lot of quality check controls are going into play uh, to make sure that doesn't happen. And the official street date when you can get this phone is April 21st. So that's in hand Galaxy S8 release. In a sketchy rumor, a tweet is suggesting that the starting price of the Galaxy S8 will be over $100 more of the Galaxy S7. So 849 euros, which roughly translates to $900 American. That'll put it out of the price range of a lot of people. I mean, do the specs, the massive display, the new design justify this $100 increase? I don't know, let me know down below. And the information about the batteries of the S8 and S8 Plus, the milliamp rating has leaked online. So the S8 is going to have the same milliamp rating at 3000 milliamps. The S8 Plus is actually shrinking to 3500. Despite an increase in thickness in the body, don't know why, uh, what kind of components are putting inside to justify that, but it's actually going down from 3600 to 3500 milliamps. But don't worry, the more efficient display and processor will negate any 100 milliamp battery decrease. And just a few more things. So sources have claimed that the Galaxy S8 will ship with Android 7.1.1, not being the current 7.1.2, but it will be one of the newer versions. It'll probably stay there knowing Android phones for a very long time until the next update. Also, a feature that will allow it to dock with a display and actually have a PC-like interface. So you'll run Android on a massive display, kind of like a PC computer. And 3D Touch is on the card, so whether or not it'll happen or not is unknown right now. There just haven't been enough rumors to substantiate it. So the uh, previous rumor said that the buttons would actually be replaced with an on-screen solution that could be 3D touched or Galaxy, of course, will rename it. Uh, maybe it'll be just for the bottom portion of the display for these buttons, or maybe the whole display will have it, or maybe it'll not have it at all. Who knows? And the displays have once again been leaked, this time in greater quality. So taking a closer look, we can see the rounded corners, of course. These are more for looks than they are for function, as is the edge display, but that one even has some use to it. This gives you a good idea of the size differences between the S8 and S8 Plus. So that is the 0.4 inch difference. It actually makes for a much bigger phone on the S8 Plus. 
Also the colors. So we're looking at gold and sort of a jet black version here. So this is gonna compete directly with the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus in jet black. At launch, I cannot wait to see this color. And also a new voice assistant is being worked on for the release of the Galaxy S8. So a direct Siri, Alexa, and Google Voice competitor. It's called Bixby. So it's supposedly going to be a much better version of Google or a Samsung S voice. So Samsung has never really had a good Siri competitor. Now with the S8, they want to make one and make one that's going to be much better than Siri. If you guys know Siri, it's so far behind in terms of what it can do and answer and contextual awareness versus Alexa and Google Voice. And the last thing I want to leave you with is there is a lot of leaks going around that are not true. For example, this one image that went viral, everyone was thinking it was the real deal, but no, it's just a modified Galaxy earlier phone. So yeah, guys, there it is, the Galaxy S8. Wow, it is shaping up to be a stunning phone with great specs. The display will be killer. I mean, this will be one of the best looking, best performing phones in a very long time. So stay tuned for any more information on that. Final release in just two months here. Peace.